Away from politics, the Accra Region Police is assuring family of the late Professor Yao Bene. It will do all it can to unravel the mystery behind the killing of the Lord Lecturer over the weekend. A team of police homicide experts led by the CID boss, DCOP Kenny Abo, on Monday visited the residence of the late Professor where his body was found with his hands tied at his back in the pool of blood. My colleague Mamiesi Thompson was at the residence when the police team arrived and filed this report. Professor Yao Bennett's neighbors have many memories of him. He was last seen on Thursday before he was brutally murdered in cold blood. His death has shaken his neighborhood, prompting residents to ask why Professor Bene. Seamstress Yaba has a shop right opposite his house. She says she had a pleasant relationship with the late professor. Last time I met him, yeah, that day not car anymore. I'm sad. The last time we spoke was on Thursday. We waved at each other in the morning before I left for a wedding in the Western region. Saturday, Saturday, my mother Juma, my koja madam Fubi, where I worry. Only to hear on Saturday that he had been killed. I will really miss his morning greetings. Another gardener in the area shares fond memories of him. If your uncle Benny would have called Uncle Benny, everybody for the area here, you saw know would have called him. So I finished what we would do and then we come. We come there, then we call that time for Lisa arrive, and then they open the place and they start doing their things uh, after they finish everything. Me, the first time I saw him said he was inside their package, they uh, listen, uh, the white here, yeah, body pack. No. But that was the first time I saw him and then uh, we take him, we put for the mature car. That was how they go. Assemblyman for the Ajurangano electoral area, Joseph Odai Boy tells me security will be boosted in the area to avert such incidents. It came to us as a shock and a surprise because uh, the prof has been with us here. I can't tell, I can't give you the specific uh, number of years he has been with us, but for us to be uh, told that uh, he has been murdered, it's, it's not a good thing at all. And it doesn't speak well of the area too. It doesn't speak well of the area. So I pray that the police will do their best to fish out the bad notes within the area and then the area will be free. Meanwhile, a team of investigators trooped his house earlier, led by the Director General of the CID, DCOP Ken Yeboah, to harvest clues to unravel the mystery behind Professor Yao Benes Kelil. Meanwhile, the police is debunking rumors. The crime scene had been tampered with before they could collect evidence. DSP Efiat Tenge has been speaking with my colleague Gifty Andrap here on the Pulse. The crime scene experts together with the investigators who are working on this particular case are doing whatever is humanly possible to see if we can make mm. a good headways in this particular murder case. We are doing what we have to do as a professionals and we know bringing in the, the crime scene experts alone indicates that yes the homicide units who are trained in investigating cases of this nature have taken whatever they wanted to lift initially at that point so we should not um, be castigated and people should not think that the police are not doing what they are expected to do and as part of investigations um, the police can still revisit there because any lead that we, we, we get we can still move on to the crime scene it doesn't mean that we have to cordon up the place. If it's for about two weeks, three weeks, we cannot um, hold somebody's house. But initially, what was expected from the police, I believe, and from the crime scene, they have done that.